Hello, hello everyone. Again, this is a charity here at Zesty. She's doing AEE, Aeronautical Electronics Engineering, and she's just going to explain to us what her career is, what she does, and what her uh, career objectives are at the end of doing the program. So, hello. Hi, uh, can you just maybe introduce yourself fully? Okay, so my name is uh, Charit Sungam Hao. I'm doing aeronautical electronics engineering here at VAST, which is Zambia Air Service Training Institute. Uh -huh. Yes, I'm in my third year, term one. So uh -huh. I'm finishing next year, August. Next year, August. Next August, I'll be done. Oh, all right. <laughs> yes. So can you just explain to, to us what AEE is? Okay, so AEE is really broad, it's wide, but basically I guess it's a branch of engineering that deals with the design, maintenance um, with aircraft, uh, and the electrical system of the plane. So to just put it in simple terms, uh, I'm just an electrical engineer. The only difference between me a student who is here at Zasti and the student who is a CPU who is doing electronic uh, engineering is uh. I get to learn uh, about the electrical part of the uh, plane. Of the plane. Yes. Oh. Now, for the student at CPU doing electrical engineering, for them, they don't get to learn the electrical part of the plane. Man. Yes. Right. So basically, you are doing electrical and electronic engineering. Yes. At the same time, you are doing something related to a plane. To the plane. So, so in my course, uh, there are three uh, four courses. Uh -huh. I'm studying aeronautical and electronic engineering. So, it's got electrical engineering, but electronic engineering, got instrumentation, and then you've got also teleco uh, telecommunication. So, there are four courses in one program or one course. One so, program. it's broad. It's broad, it's wide, and yeah, I think that's the beauty of it. And that's why I, <laughs> I chose it. I chose it, right? Mm. So, you say it has four courses. That means we can let's, let's talk about the bit on uh, telecommunications, right? Eh? That means it's possible that when you're done, you could you can work at Samtel, Airtel. Yes, it's right. very possible. There are people who did AEE, but right now they're working. Uh, at Zesco, they are, I mean, yeah, Airtel, Zantel, you know, they are, then there are also those who did AE, they are at Zesco, some are in the mines, and then there are those who are, uh, who are also in the aviation, which is the airport, but they did AEE. Okay. Yes. So it's, it's up to you, it's, it's according to your preference. If you're yeah. done, you can do whatever you want. Yes, it's like, what do you want to now specialize in when you are done? Mm. Yes. Alright, nice. Yes. So, um, uh, what's your, what's what's the biggest challenge so far you've uh, stumbled upon during your, your your years of study here, three years of study here? Okay, so my years of study here, of course, when I first got here, trust me, what I researched on the internet is not what I actually found here. Uh. Because when you go on the internet, uh, when you research like aeronautical engineers, what do they do? They do like designing planes, creating manufacturing planes. So when I came here, for me, that's the idea which I had was like, I'm going to design a plane. <laughs> you uh. see that? But then um, I come to realize to say aeronautical engineering is it is it is divided into two. So there's the electronics part and the mechanical part. Uh. So the mechanical part, this is where you get to design planes. Uh, manufacturing planes and all that, but you know, when times we are not exactly. yet advanced, not we have yet, not we reached have yeah. the equipment that, yes. that, that can help us. Mm -hmm. right. So, we have not yet reached that level, but here at Zasta, they offer the electronics part. Mm -hmm. So, this is why I now get to do the electrical part of the plane, not the mechanical part where I get to actually design the plane or manufacture the plane. Mm. Yes, um, yeah, so with that being said, uh otherwise it's it's really amazing it's uh -huh. really amazing if you get an opportunity to do it please just come and do it you won't regret you will learn a lot mm. Mm -hmm. so right so here it's half a package so it's the mechanical part that is yet to be to be touched on yes wow <laughs> so that means if you are to do mechanical part and, and the electrical part you'll be full full-fledged engineer full. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes wow but so even here because they said the four courses basically mm -hmm. on the electrical parts that means you are uh, basically 
a full package engineer. You can work forever at electrical ele- yes. electrical electronics engineer can work. Uh, an electronics engineer or an AT like me, I can work as I mentioned earlier in the mines, ZESCO, uh, the airports, I can find myself in te- with telecommunication companies. If I get an opportunity, I can still work there because of the courses, uh, the course which are uh, the courses that are in my program or what I'm doing. Mm. Yes. So uh, I think the course. The question that I asked for the first came was like, okay, but why is the aeronautical part coming? Uh, how how is it coming in? Uh, so they told me to say the uh, the aeronautical part comes in because right now I'm in my third day and I'm I'm doing navigation system uh, aid. Yes, so this is where the aeronautical part comes in because now in navigation now I get to learn about the ADB, ADF. So these um. These are uh, instruments or devices that help actually the cra- uh, the aircraft, like when it comes to landing and how it's moving, navigation. We talk about navigation, talking about giving direction or trying to find direction. So how is when the aircraft is up there in the air? How is it? How is how is it going to move from point A to point B? How is it going to move from, uh, let's say, from here Lusaka to Ndola? So there are all those instruments and. In, Right now, I'm learning about the yeah, world. I will oh, enjoy it. Enjoy it. So it's, it's really, it's really an interesting course, huh? It is. All right. So how does it how does it differ from uh, what Claudius is doing, avionics? Avionics. Yeah. yeah. So uh, avionics engineers, uh, they they get to they get to learn. For them, they get to learn. Uh, it's like a mixture of. Uh, aircraft maintenance engineering and aeronautical engineering that are in the middle. Mm-hmm. Learning, because for them, they, they even get to learn about the plane. I think they got, they've got a piston engine. So they just don't learn about the electrical part but of the they system. They the they, mechanical part. They also touch the mechanical parts. Ah, That's how powerful they are. That's how powerful they are. Right. Yes. Yeah, this, is, this is really interesting, guys. Yes. Guys, uh, what's up with that thought that maybe there's no industry for anything related to uh, airplanes, yeah, you are wrong. Uh, I've been proved wrong. <laughs> Come to Zesty and you you learn quite a lot. I've just learned things that I've uh, never heard before. So please. Come to Zesty Zambia Air Services Training Institute adjacent to the Kenneth Kaunda International Airport to inquire for anything that you need. We'll probably put in contact details for uh, for the admins there and any of these guys if you would want to learn more about uh, these courses so, so as we wrap up this interview uh what is for the future we're done so when i'm done uh, my goal is to have because i'm an engineer my job is to create innovate so when i'm done with my school i'm hoping to by the time that to have a project running so uh um, there's a project that I'm current, that I can't tell you much because I'm still wow. working. It's in the process. <laughs> I'm interested in it's that one. It's in the process. <laughs> okay, okay. Is, yes. Is the final year project? Um, no, this is like your for, own personal project. My own personal project <laughs> based on the skills that right. I've uh, acquired here. Mm. So hopefully that one, by the time I'm done, it also be somewhere, somewhere where I'll be able now to work on it fully and just introduce it to the world like that uh, but otherwise yeah for engineers for me really um i feel like employment is not an issue to me uh, a yeah. job is the least of my worries to say when i'm done where am i going to find a job where am i going? for me because um i should be able to create job a job for myself and for other people just from what i have acquired here because uh, where I am right now, before I came here, the fun thing is, I didn't even know how to repair even just an adapter, simple adapter, uh-huh. <laughs> or a socket, just, you know, putting a socket or installing anything. I didn't, I didn't even have any idea, but right now I'm able to do that. Yes, yeah, so mm-hmm. I'm able to repair uh, electronics devices, you know. So for, uh, for me, like, really, uh, job-wise, it's not really an issue. I'm going to apply myself. So after this, what is for the future? I'm just going to apply myself. Mm-hmm. Yes. So to create jobs for for, 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 for uh, upcoming uh, yes. engineers that would want to to do to work to work. 
Yes. It's really nice, guys. She's thinking. <laughs> Five years or so. <laughs> These are type of minds that we need in Zambia. People that are able to create jobs other than uh, finding or looking for someone to work. As someone once said, why look for employment when you can create one? Thank you for watching Green Energy Media. Goodbye. <laughs>